Sekhmet is the Egyptian goddess of war, plague, chaos, and ironically healing. She is also referred to as the goddess of the hot desert sun and is a solar deity, often depicted with a round disc symbol above her head. Her name means she who is powerful. Sekhmet represents strength and leadership. She is not afraid to fight for what she wants. Hi, I'm Amy from Celebrate Pagan Holidays, and today we are talking about the powerful goddess Sekhmet. Legend tells us that Sekhmet was created by Ra because he was angry that the people were neglecting him. Sekhmet was created as a bloodthirsty lioness who instilled fear and respect among the people. Controlling her, however, proved to be a challenge. Sekhmet is ironically also the goddess of healing in the medical arts. She could heal diseases and avert the plague. She is associated with fertility and is a powerful protector of her family and friends. There has been quite a bit of information recovered on Nejimo, the chief priest of Sekhmet and his skills surrounding the beginnings of germ theory. Some women had powerful positions in ancient Egypt. Sekhmet reminds us that we as women have power and tenacity. Pray to her to help you feel strong and successful. There is some controversy over the relationship between Sekhmet and Bastet. A few scholars believe they are the same. However, most Egyptologists believe they are different goddesses with some similar traits. The term counterpart or possibly sister is more apt. I took a course on ancient Egypt and my professor explained how they originated in different time periods and areas of Egypt. Sekhmet being worshiped primarily in Upper Egypt in Memphis and Luxor during the 18th and 19th dynasties. Bast is a much older goddess, popular in Lower Egypt. She first appears in the second dynasty. Sekhmet is seen as a woman with the head of a lioness. She is wearing a sun disc to symbolize her close connection to Ra, the god of the sun. She is often depicted holding an ankh and a scepter. The ankh is a symbol for life. The scepter was a staff or wand held by royalty. She was created by Ra and is believed to be the daughter of Geb, god of the earth, and Newt, goddess of the sky. Ra came to Egypt to Ra came to earth to rule Egypt as Pharaoh. When his power was in decline and the people were ignoring him, he sent Sekhmet to punish them. She roamed the land as a bloodthirsty lioness, killing and maiming thousands. When Ra told her the people had learned their lesson, Sekhmet refused to stop killing. Ra tricked her into stopping by coloring beer red and leaving it out for her to drink. She became so drunk, she passed out. When she awoke, she no longer wanted to kill. Sekhmet then taught her priests to be healers. There are many ways we can honor Sekhmet today. Drink some red wine or beer colored with pomegranate juice and leave her an offering on your altar. Dance, feel your power. The ancient Egyptians loved music and dancing. Feast. Ancient Egyptians had a great variety of foods. Have a feast to celebrate. There are several days each year that Egyptians honored Sekhmet. November 24th is the day to give her offerings. But of course, you can give an offering on any day that works for you. Honor Sekhmet by recognizing the powerful women throughout history who have worked for basic rights and freedoms for women. If you are able, donate to a nonprofit organization that helps and supports women in crisis. Use these on your altar when you honor Sekhmet. Some good incense scents are dragon's blood, frankincense, 
and sandalwood, herbs and essential oils that she enjoys, orange blossoms, cinnamon, and cedar. Crystals that will resonate with her power are bloodstone, garnet, and ruby. Spend some time meditating today. Set an intention to open yourself to the feminine guidance of Sekhmet. You have the power within you. Thanks for watching and have a very witchy day.